What's up everyone? Welcome back. It's your homegirl Yanny Boy and we're back with the pajamas. Today we are gonna make musical nail art. It's a hobby that I don't show people much but I actually love in secret. So that's what we're gonna do today. I know it's like this isn't music related at all. You're wrong! I'm gonna make nail art that's specifically related to music so this video is still relevant. God damn it. And here we go! Before anything else, um, I just want to give you a heads up that most of the products that I'll be using is from a company called OMG. Oh my girl! They're not sponsoring this video, but I find that a lot of their nail polishes are really just so affordable. If you buy it from a Hortaleza, it only costs you like 25 to 30 pesos depending on your location. But if you're gonna buy from a supermarket, it'll cost you only 39, which is still cheaper than like, you know, the, the really expensive international brands. So welcome to my nails. Hi there. It's your homegirl, Yenny Boy, and we're with the pajamas. <laughs> oh, I should have worn pajamas for my fingernails. I'm only going to paint my left hand. My right hand is the one that's talented and not the left one. First, what we're gonna do is first remove my previous nail polishes. These are um, from the nude collection of OMG. I really love them. So first product that I'll be using is from OMG, like I said. It is the OMG Oh My Girl Premium Acetone. Um, not biased at all. I have tried a lot of acetones and like nail polish removers from different companies and I find that the OMG brand is really the best. <laughs> for example, this one I only left it for like what, 10 seconds I guess? So let's see if it already removed it. Um, give it a little bit of a rub and there you go, it's clean. As new. It's only 29 pesos, something that your girl can afford, right? So yeah, so anyway, I'm just gonna continue removing this, but this video was gonna be like a little bit boring than the usual videos. I went onto Facebook and started asking my friends what questions they have regarding to music, preferably, but if it's not about music, it's okay too. So before anything else, shout outs to everybody who supports me. I'm really, really, I really appreciate you all. You know, Cleo Ping, Maria Camilla, John Arvin, James Daki, Jen Pantawa, of course, AC, my husband, and my first YouTube, like official YouTube friend. His name is Bruce Dan Reyes, also known as Bruzy Vlogs. You have to check his channel. I really, like if you love the pajama gang now, you'll love his channel even more. Go check out his channel, share some love, comment down on his videos, tell him the pajama gang is here! Next thing that I'm gonna do is gonna start cleaning them. So I'm using another product by OMG, it's their pusher. It has like this sharp thingy at the end and this is what I use to like for the curve section like that. While we're doing that, let's search for our first question. Question is from my YouTube friend Bruce Dan Reyes. How do you do autotune? Actually, I have a separate video for this, so please wait for that. Bruzy, thank you so much for asking that, though. Question number two. What are the equipments you use um, when filming a cover? My mic is the Blue Snowball Ice. It's a condenser and a studio mic that my friend Steven got for me. Um, I don't know if he still watches my videos, but he's the, like he sponsored this mic and I'm really grateful for him giving this to me. Depending on where I am, the camera that I use to film is my regular webcam, believe it or not. A lot of like a lot of my videos is just my regular webcam. It's specifically more catered for like a streaming for gaming webcams, but I use it regardless. For recording music, I either use Audacity or Adobe Audition. But if you're gonna be using instruments with your music, try out Ableton Live. So when it, to record my videos, because I'm using my webcam, I use OBS, specifically Streamlabs OBS. It's supposed to be a streaming software. I use it regardless. Okay, number three, what instruments do you play and what is your favorite among them? 
The instruments that I play are the piano, the guitar, the ukulele, and the violin. My most favorite instrument is the piano because for me, it's the base instrument for everything. Once you learn the piano, it's quite easy to just like learn all the other instruments. This question is from James Dakis. Who do you think is an underrated artist? Sian Lim? He's one of those people who actually know how. Next question is Melvin, my best friend, one of my best friends. His question is, when are you gonna sing a Tagalog song? I actually have sung a Tagalog song. It's um, Hinahanap ng Puso by Block Nine, which I'll show you like right now. Here. <laughs> So yeah, I already sung a Tagalog song. Like, I guess what she's pertaining to is when do I sing like non a non rap Tagalog song? Maybe soon, maybe soon. If you have some requests for a Tagalog song, could you leave a comment down below? Because I'm not really into OPM, but I find that some of it are really good, and maybe you can do our own version. Next question is from Juliana. How does English language affect my everyday life? I know Tagalog, I really do. I can understand you and I can't speak back to you. I grew up in a different country and where from elementary, we spoke in English all the time because we, we, uh, we studied in an international school. So like out of respect, you just, you kind of have to speak in English so that everybody else understands you. <laughs> question is from Cleo Ping and her question is when did you learn the guitar and can you make a tutorial okay I learned the guitar when I was 12 years old can I make a tutorial asked Cleo yes yes definitely might make a like how to play instruments series I'll start with the ukulele first and going to the guitar and then going to the piano so when did you learn you had a talent for singing <clears throat> Do I have a talent for singing is the question. <laughs> I, I was learning from my dad um, on how to play the piano since three years old. I learned how to do karaoke <laughs> because now I know how songs sound like, I know how tones sound like, musical notes sound like, plus I know how to read. So putting those together, you get karaoke. So I'm going to use the next one. It's, it's called Piano by still by omg which really suits our musical nail art for today honestly i wanted to go with this just like these few nail art but there's a trick this is still a sponge from omg where if you just paint over this like let me show you like so. you can actually just get the particles and not the like the clear polish if i put it over here It'll actually give me the like all of this the good stuff. It, I really love this nail polish from OMG. Thank you so much. See, we have great concentration if we use an OMG sponge. Buy the ones from OMG because they're specifically designed for nails. Because um, I have experience using like a normal makeup sponge for doing my nails, and it like it kind of absorbs the nail polish. Like, of course, that's what you want it to do, but. It, it absorbs like even the nail polish just already on your nail and I, I well who wants that um, I'm just doing a little bit of cleanup and later on I'll show you my final my final nail so thank you so much to all those who submitted their questions I really appreciate and thank you for joining me in this video today let me know if you like these types of videos. Are these boring for you? <laughs> Do you want me to go just, just go back to what I'm doing? Yep, and that's it. That is our music related nail art. for this week's video thank you very much for watching if you're here already might as well subscribe if you like that video please like and share or comment down below thank you so much for watching see you again next week in my next pajamas bye